Welcome to TheMortgageGirl.com. Today, about 20% of all home loans are financed and insured with the government, an FHA home loan product. The reason for this is the subprime market has disappeared, so borrowers with less than par credit scores have the option to finance with a long-term loan with an FHA product. Now, the FHA's business this year has sparked increasingly because of lower credit score qualifications, a minimum down payment of 3%, that 3% down payment can be gifted from a friend a relative as long as it's not coming from the seller. You may also have a co-signer on the home loan with you who will not even occupy the residence. With those three perks, many people have chosen to finance with an FHA product. Now, FHA is not a subsidy program. You will have to pay an upfront mortgage insurance premium and also an annual mortgage insurance premium. The upfront mortgage insurance premium is 1.75% of the loan amount. For example, $100,000 loan amount times that by 1.75% equals $1,750. That $1,750 will be added onto the $100,000 with on the start of the loan. The annual mortgage insurance premium is about 0.5%. So once again, you would take the $100,000 times that by 0.5%, which equals $500. Now that $500 will be spread across your 12 monthly mortgage payments for the year. So many people are concerned that with the popularity and increase in FHA, the government is gonna run out of funds. But with the upfront mortgage insurance premium and the annual mortgage insurance premium, the government has been able to create a huge reserve fund so there isn't too much to worry about. So FHA's popularity continues to attract more and more home buyers because of a low down payment, low credit score, and also the security of a long-term fixed product. If you have any more questions about FHA, please blog below this video or you can email a trusted advisor at info at Thank you.